Hello, my name is Alice Karumpas. I'm an instructor of English Composition and Effective Speaking at SUNY Broome Community College in upstate New York. As an instructor of relatively beginning academic writers, I like to share a metaphor for academic writing that was originally written by the philosopher Kenneth Burke. He compares academic writing to a never-ending conversation at a party. When you arrive, the conversation has already been going on for a while, so you listen and you take stock of the issues. Once you see what the issues are, you may decide to throw in your own two cents or put in your oar, as Kenneth, Kenneth Burke says. Uh, others may agree or disagree with you, and you'll acknowledge their input. Eventually, you'll say your goodbyes and leave the party, and the conversation will keep going on without you. My students respond well to this metaphor and its invitation to view academic writing in a non-threatening way. But you know, it could be the best party on the planet. If that conversation isn't about a subject that interests them, they are not going to stay at that party. This is where COIL comes in for me. I believe that if I can collaborate with an instructor from the Middle East, Africa, or Asia, and we can talk about issues that interest my students, like social issues, the environment, agricultural practices, or psychological issues. These are the things they're interested in. My students will stay at that party and they will engage in their writing assignment. It's important to me that my students have access to a non-Western culture. That's the whole point for me. I took a semester abroad when I was in college in Chennai, India, back when it was still Madras. Uh, this firsthand experience of the world really opened my eyes and my heart. I want my students to have that opportunity, something they really wouldn't be able to have otherwise. I'm open to many different areas of the curriculum and many different countries. If you'd like to have some cultural exchange with a great mixture of country and city dwellers from America, I'd love to hear from you.